Now with a different twist on the Veterans Day celebration. Yeah, yeah. to get caught up uh, in it a little bit, uh, we spent some time with a very fine gentleman who was able to reflect back on yesteryear for some very fond memories and others that weren't also so fond, but all in all, very rich ones any way you slice it. You know, as we head down the home stretch of the college football season, there's one Tucsonan who's finding it very easy to reflect back when he was a member of Notre Dame's Glory Days some 50 years ago. However, this Veterans Day also reminds Bob McBride of a dark period in his life when the world was at war. While schools like Arizona are still establishing a sense of football tradition, the University of Notre Dame often reflects the standard in which others try to measure up. Back in the 1940s, the Fighting Irish won four national titles, and helping lead the way was Tucson and Bob McBride, who played on the line both ways and credits Notre Dame's glory days to legendary head coach Frank Leahy. Well, I think everybody had a certain amount of fear of him, absolutely. And he also, uh, anyone who played for him really knew what discipline was, and uh, he was very fair. With a surname perfectly suited for his team, McBride and the Irish once stopped in Tucson while on a trip to meet USC. And my, how things have changed. And the University of Arizona was on the outskirts of town. And I, if I remember correctly, I, I don't think Tucson had 30,000 people at that time. After joining the Army in World War II, McBride was taken prisoner by the Nazis. In 123 days, McBride went from 218 pounds down to 104. But this fighting Irishman survived, thanks partly to his Notre Dame experience. The first fall, I think over 99% of the people in, in our country and in the world really don't know how deep they can go to bring the best out of themselves. You found out. And I, I, I found out. I, I think this is one thing that, frankly, he taught me. Though now an adopted Wildcat fan, McBride never questions where his heart and soul still lie. When the ball club comes out and uh, the Notre Dame fight song is uh, being played, uh, I get the goosebumps even thinking of it. And, oh, yeah. If it weren't, uh, if I had more eligibility, I'd like to go back. <laughs> if his allegiance to the U of A is a solid one, but only as long as the Cats don't have to play Notre Dame. That's because McBride is a former member of three fighting Irish football teams, 1941-42, and their national championship season of 46. McBride was also a POW during World War II, where he lost over 100 pounds in less than four months. This Veterans Day, McBride credits Notre Dame's legendary coach, Frank Leahy, to helping him overcome those dark days as a prisoner. In the first fall, he... I think over 99% of the people in, in our country and in the world really don't know how deep they can go to bring the best out of themselves. And you found out. And I, I, I found out. I, I think this is one thing that, frankly, he taught me...